Yeah, Kristen and Mike, just in the last 10 minutes, those roads opened up specifically Grant Street between 6th and 7th Avenue. So if you're driving through this downtown area, that main artery, you won't be affected. Also, the, that significant presence before, after the, the leak, uh, that has diminished significantly. But I want to show you what we're looking at. That is what authorities say the caustic leak just flowing out of the U.S. Steel Tower here at 600 Grant Street. We have yet to identify the specific liquid. Uh, crews cannot tell us at the time. A spokesperson for the public safety says that it appears to be a skin irritant, but that it does not pose a threat to the broader public. Again, uh, this is not dangerous to people who are around here. Of course, if you, you touch it, uh, um, that uh, could have detrimental effects. But obviously, they have the tape here, so no one can go past the yellow caution tape. Right now, they say the scene is under control. Again, this is at the U.S. Steel Tower. Happened after hours, so uh, the PIO says, public information officer says there were no evacuations. We're still working to find out uh, the nature of any injuries, if there were any. But again, as you alluded to, Cruz told us that just the makeup of the building as well as the weather right now posed some challenges to hazmat crews. This building is unique because most buildings would have concrete encasement. This building is just all steel. So it's a little bit different than what they would normally encounter with other buildings. It is, as everyone in Pittsburgh knows, a unique setup. Again, you're getting a live look at that caustic or corrosive. You're getting a live look at that caustic or corrosive uh, liquid leaking out of the side of the U.S. Steel Tower. Uh, most of the crews that were here a few hours ago, they have left. There is still a representative, it appears, from the, the DEP who's on scene, as well as a couple people from Hazmat. They have consulted building management. We're expected to find out much more tomorrow morning. We're going to try to keep you updated on air and online as soon as we learn the latest. For now, we're live downtown. Mike Valenti, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.